All right, yes. To answer your question, this is in fact a real game. And of course in today's video, I'm gonna be speedrunning it. Futurama the video game is a PlayStation 2 era game from 2003. It's described as the 73rd episode of the show by David Cohen, as the game's cutscenes play out exactly as a typical episode from the show. For anyone out there that's as big of a Futurama fan as myself, and also enjoys 3D platformers, I would really recommend giving this game a try, because I actually think it holds up pretty well. But with that being said, I have to warn you, this game is not easy, even from a casual perspective, but especially when it comes to the speedrun. I think this is best displayed when looking at my first speedruns of this game. We first start out at Planet Express, and have to do a simple mission collecting different parts to repair the ship. Simple enough, but once I get to the second level in the sewers, we see a pretty drastic skill increase. In this level I need to make my way through, avoiding enemies and the toxic waste on the ground because I want as much HP as I can possibly have for the later section. Once I get to this gate, I have to do a tricky jump into the checkpoint trigger, and then wrap around so I can walk back through the door before it closes. This is really difficult because there's a sewer monster that comes through this door, and even though I play it safe, waiting for it to walk through before attempting the jump, I only get one try before the monster comes after me. Assuming this is pulled off correctly, when the checkpoint is hit, the game unloads a part of the level I was just playing through, and loads in the next section. So when I walk back through, I can go to the deloaded portion, and use it to get Fry out of bounds to skip a large portion of the level. This is a pretty punishing trick, because once the checkpoint trigger is hit, if I fail, it's an instant reset, since I'll be permanently stuck past the door. Also, the leaderboards use in-game time for its placements, which means I can't just save the game and reload it, otherwise it would overwrite the in-game time. Not that most people wouldn't reset after failing to skip anyways, since it's so early in the run, but this just makes it all the more punishing to new speedrunners that have to run through the entirety of Planet Express just to attempt the skip again. While navigating out of bounds, I keep my camera pointed up, just so I can somewhat see what I'm walking on, and then eventually clip back in bounds to do the last portion of the level. Like I said earlier, for this portion it's important that I have as much health as I can possibly have. I'll start by climbing up some ladders, and doing some precise platforming across this railing, which if I mess up on even by a little bit, these tentacle creatures will grab Fry and instantly kill him, taking me back to the last checkpoint. Once at the top, I'll have to take a bunch of fall damage, navigate across the sewage, hit some valves, and then run past some more sewer monsters, all while being one hit away from death. And that's only the second level. The difficulty of Fry levels only escalates and gets more difficult each time. In the following subway level, instead of fighting against sewer monsters, I now have to fight and run past enemies wielding shotguns that can rapid fire and do a ton of damage to Fry's health. Not to mention there are mines that have to be shot or damage abused through for progression, and if I mess up on blowing up a single one, I'll most likely die to the shotguns. Keep in mind I only start the Fry section with 5 lives, which might seem like a lot, but it definitely isn't, especially considering I have to take a purposeful death on the next level, so I really only have 4. After making my way through half the level, I do get to pick up a shotgun, which is much more suited for dealing with these enemies, so the second half is a bit easier, but I do have to be careful with how much ammo I use, because it will be needed on the following level as well. In Old New York, I'll be doing a bit of precise platforming to skip through the level a handful of times. It's important that when I do these skips, I equip the hammer, which makes Fry jump higher. The rest of the level I play through as intended, with even more powerful enemies, including exploding pigs and enemies with rocket launchers. The following levels Red Light District and Uptown have skips to get past most of the enemies, which as you could guess are even more powerful than the previous levels, now having machine guns. Also the skips are really difficult, and the backup strategies if the skips fail are just coin flips, where you hope you don't get damaged too much and die. The skip in Uptown is especially frustrating, because I have to do a jump off this trash can, which sometimes can be shot by an enemy, and if I'm not being careful enough, I could even shoot it myself with a machine gun. Assuming I get past these levels in one piece, I'll hop in the chicken walker, and have to go through an auto-scroller. I find it extremely weird that in the fry levels, you take so much damage, and can sometimes never find enough health, but in the chicken walker, you're basically invincible. There are some strats in this level to speed things up, like using rockets to kill large groups of enemies at once, but that's pretty much it. Following this level, I get to play as Bender, who is easily the most fun character to play in this run. Fry's levels barely consist of any platforming, which is probably a good thing since his platforming kit isn't very good, but Bender on the other hand has everything you could ever need. Jumping and butt slamming with Bender can be used to make all sorts of different jumps that would otherwise be impossible to make. Not only this, but by using his spin attack before falling off ledges, cancels all fall damage. He also has his punch attack, which can be used for minor time saves, by either using it to punch into triggers where Bender would be forced to stand still anyways, or it can even be used shortly after walking off ledges to perform precise skips. But this punch attack is extremely broken for an entirely different reason. 
as it can be used for a glitch called redirects. This glitch is performed by first using the punch attack, which will propel Bender forward without the ability to turn during the movement. However, if we go into first person mode and turn the camera while he's punching, not only is it possible to change directions with the move, but we can also clip through walls. The inputs for performing this are pretty quick, but once I got it down, it started to turn into a fluid mechanic, and the better I got at it, the more control it gave me. For example, depending on how long a redirect is held determines how far they go. There are a lot of instances where longer redirects are needed for certain clips, or save the hassle of needing two redirects to get fully through a wall. But sometimes the shorter one is all that's needed. The mine facility is probably my favorite level, which requires full mastery over Bender's kit. I started out by doing a redirect to pass through a door. After reaching the checkpoint, I have to do some precise butt slam platforming and make my way across some beams until I reach a wall. I'll do another butt slam to get myself on a ledge out of bounds and walk towards the end of level trigger. Then just before I get to the end, I'll jump slightly left, walk off the ledge and punch towards the lift. And assuming everything goes correctly, I'll hit the loading zone. This last part of the skip is so difficult and precise, it took me a lot of practice to get down because if the positioning, timing, or anything is just barely off, the trick won't work and Bender will just fall straight to the bottom. But that's pretty much it for the Bender portion as far as mechanics go. The next character we get to play as is Leela. Similar to Bender, Leela also has the ability to redirect through collision by using a roll, but she'll be making far greater use of the glitch compared to the Bender levels. For top speedrunners, Leela levels are by far the most difficult and require absolute mastery of redirects to perform efficiently. Another aspect of redirects I've failed to mention yet is that they can also be used to skip past enemy and event triggers, which can save a bit of time through the run, but they aren't mandatory for completion. Leela's levels also require a bit of combat, and the best way to deal with most enemies is by doing a jump kick followed by two punches. She also has a special spin move power up, which is useful for defeating multiple enemies at once, and it also makes Leela invincible, which is useful depending on the situation. The first couple of levels are pretty straightforward, making my way through Market Square and the left wing. Towards the end of the left wing level, I'll be making use of another glitch by punching during a roll. This will interrupt the roll and preserves the roll hitbox, which I'll be making use of later, to just run under certain traps, but in this case will allow me to clip through the ceiling. And then by rolling again to restore the normal hitbox, I can jump through the ceiling and run straight to the end of the level. Unfortunately, things are only going to get more difficult from here. The right wing is pretty similar to the last level I was in, requiring a bunch of redirects to skip through it. But then towards the end, it has in my opinion, the most difficult skip in the entire run. To do this skip, I have to run to the end of this hallway to trigger an audio cue for a door to raise. Then I'll do another redirect to head out of bounds towards the door, but I need to hit another trigger to raise it up even more to load the end of the level. This is pretty tricky to do because it's super easy to just fall back down to the ground, which if this happens means I need to death warp back to the last checkpoint to try it again, wasting a bunch of time. But this isn't even the difficult part. After raising the door, I have to walk across the seam and then time a precise jump to reach the end of level trigger, which took me a really long time to finally get down. And then the final Leela level in her temple is probably the most stressful of them all, even with five lives. There are several doors to redirect through that lead straight into lava if the redirect is either too far or is too short requiring two redirects to get through. Once I get to the end of the level, I have to do a difficult boss fight versus the sun god, which requires full HP for, and any less most likely won't work for the skip I'm about to do. To do this skip, I'm going to roll cancel again to store the roll hitbox, and then after he throws four fireballs, I have to walk into the boss. This hitbox colliding with the boss glitches the boss out, and he starts doing this weird chicken dance that looks like an extremely fast loop of his normal cycles. The benefit of doing this is that during the loop, the force field around each of the statues that need to be collected will be dropped for a short moment, allowing me to grab them. By having max health and collecting all the HP pickups around the arena gives me just enough health to finish the boss fight. Following the end of this fight is a Zoidberg level, which is pretty much just a Crash Bandicoot Polar Bear level, and I just have to run to the end with making the least number of mistakes as I possibly can. Each of the three main characters get one more level to finish off the rest of the game. Usually when you switch between characters, you get five lives, but in this case you only get five for the rest of the game. With Bender we'll first start off by jumping off a ledge to the right to hit a trigger from below, but this requires a very precise jump and butt slam to get enough distance to trigger. The rest of the level is pretty trivial, and then it's on to the Leela level. With Leela I'll start by going out of bounds and traversing through the level until I reach this door. By doing a tricky jump to land inside of this room, I'll open up the door and death warp back to the level start with the mines. Opening this door is the only trigger needed to hit to finish the level. 
So by doing the same clip again and walking above the end of level lever, I can activate it from above and finish it quickly. You would think based on the earlier fry levels that the final level in the game would have some of the most powerful enemies. But in this one we get to pick up a super powerful gun that kills every enemy in one shot. Not that they were even that powerful in the first place. The entire level is a cakewalk, and is probably the easiest level in the entire game, just requiring going from point A to point B quickly. That is until we get to the final boss versus the destructor. To do this boss, I'll stand on a certain spot on the floor behind a pillar that will block all the destructor's shots with me still being able to fire back. But even though this blocks all of the shots, you'll still shoot rockets and send out birds that can explode and do a bit of damage. So if I get super unlucky, it is possible to die in this fight, but it's very unlikely to happen. After finishing my day one runs, I was left with a 1 hour and 23 minute time, which I ended up needing to reload a bunch of practice saves for, so it wouldn't even be submittable for the leaderboards. My goal for this run was to eventually beat it in under an hour, in game time, which is usually around 4 minutes shorter than the real time, so I knew I would have to spend a couple of days practicing before I would ever be able to do this. After spending about 4 days grinding practice runs, practicing strategies, and watching over even more speedruns of other runners, I was finally ready to put my skills to the test. To not only get a speedrun where I didn't game over so I could submit it to the leaderboards, but also get that precious sub hour. Let's see how I do. I like I really, really, really enjoyed this game, but I just have I just want to get the sub hour and then get out. So if whatever time I get that's underneath that hour is pretty much what I'm gonna stick with. I'm gonna take damage there. That's I think I'm just gonna take damage every time on that fall. Unless I take damage on the prior one. That'll probably work out. Just go back. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I didn't kill that guy, huh? Okay, there's health right there. Weird. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I could have saved it. I could have saved it. I, the, the camera angle was all off. It's just I had to let the guy walk out more. That's the main thing that I changed there. Um, I've been at it for about a week now, Electric Use. In general, I'd say I'm pretty good at- Oh no, okay. Oh god. I, all right, you- I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to use shots here. In general, I feel like I'm pretty decent at, like, picking up new games, learning them relatively quickly. Some clips are easy, some aren't. The fry ones are more about positioning. Yeah, probably the best way to put it. Dude. Okay, there we go. I wasn't staying on the ledge. Oh my. Nah. <laughs> oh. The scariest vents of my life. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to think how I can even do this. Uh, health is going to be too low for this. Guarantee it. Maybe not. Probably still though. We're grinding. This is gonna be a last attempt at a PB tonight, but the game take this game takes a lot out of me, just mentally. Was it's just 3D platformers in general though. Yeah, the fry segment wasn't too bad. I mean, up till like I I'm always happy with the clean sewers and clean uh, subway. That's been pretty satisfying getting consistent now. I'm, you know, maybe uh, if I end up doing another, another stream of this, which, hey, we'll see how this run turns out. You know, maybe I'll do uh, another, uh, maybe I'll learn the, the risky sewer skip. Weirdly enough, this section can be kind of tricky. The collision on some of the vehicles or just being in the range to shoot all the guys. Oh, that's right. These guys come out here. I'm going to skip using a rocket right here where I could have used one like with these guys coming out. But we should be good on rockets past that point. There's going to be some guys popping out here. Okay, one, two. Nice. Clean. I have not gotten that shot yet. Nah, nah. No way, not, not two times. All right, I just gotta go a little bit more over to the right. That's okay. I kind I actually understand it a little bit better after that. So as you can see, this run was going pretty well coming out of Fry, and then after finishing Bender's section, I managed to extend my time save by an additional 30 seconds. 
But like I said earlier, Bender levels are super chill, and I usually don't have to worry about them too much. But once I got to the end game levels, things started getting pretty intense. Get to the living. Unfortunate. I think I just die here then. It's easier. I'm gonna lose time though, but oh, the, the door's raised. That's all I need. Once that's raised, I'm good. Oh, super close. Yeah, blood a lot of time there. I don't know why the, this skip has been causing me issues lately. It should it should just be a one and done, but not been working out super well for me. All right, inner temple time. This is where shit gets real. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, we saved one life there. That's that's one. Okay, we have another one right here. Clean. Oh, holy shit. Oh my. Dude, I got out of there with full health. Can you believe that? Uh, clip here. One time for the fans. Oh. <laughs> I tried. I don't know what it is about that one. It's, that one's just straight up hit or miss. Like, uh, nothing feels different when I do it. I sometimes slide off that load. So I, I don't like doing it, but it does save a couple seconds. But not much if I die. Go, 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 go. Just go. It didn't work anyways. It didn't work anyways. I took damage there, but I think I'm okay. I think I just have extra health. I think I have, I think I had extra health. Can't get hit there though. I, ha I actually had the extra health. Lucky me. Nice. All right, ladies and gents, we have a run on our hands. We're looking at a 5849 RTA, assuming mis no mistakes. Let's just let, let's just play the run and not even think about it. Hopefully the bender skip just works. I, I really hope it just works. If it doesn't, you know, I, I, I it'll just be what it is. It's just gonna be a thing I have to practice a bit. It's just it's very hit or miss, and I kind of need those lives for Leela because we're not gonna be we're not gonna have a surplus of lives here. We're gonna have five to use on all of that. Well, I gotta, I don't know. I don't know if I can build, maybe I should try and build up extra lives during Zoidberg section here. I don't think that will cost me any time. Let's just try it out. Hopefully I don't die trying to collect these things, but it's, yeah. Every time, I went in the center of it that time too. I went in the center. Luckily you just respawn right there. That's something weird about that jump. Every time. Every time. I don't believe that costs a life, at least. So it's just going to be like a couple seconds. Yeah, jumps can be tight. This one's, this one's, that's another tricky one, but it's not too bad. It's just that, I don't know. All the jumps you want to jump early on, except for like certain ones. I don't know what this is going to leave me with for Bender, but hopefully it's more than five. All right, here we go. Skip time. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't be too sad if I can't do it, but. That looks, that no, that looked really good on him. That also looked really good. That's really insane. That's not working. You got it. Okay, we're good. We're chilling, chat. We're, we're okay. Uh, okay. That's the new strat, by the way. Even if this run doesn't pan out, which I'm hoping it does, we still have the Lilo level. Okay, but that's the new strat. Get lives during Zoidberg, and I, 
No, I'm gonna have... Well, I have to do one death abuse, so... We should have enough lives here. We have like two lives to spare on Leela. So hopefully Leela just goes fine. Well, hopefully I don't die to this robot here. It's getting a little weird. Yeah, just hug the right. No, no, wait, what? How did that, no, how did that, how was that not where you were able to stand? I can't believe that. I was being careful too, I thought. I What I thought was being careful. That's insane. Okay, now I really can't make mistakes on Leela and I'm losing time. That's crazy. I'm genuinely so surprised there. Because I don't I don't necessarily know exactly what the boundaries are there, but it That's pretty insane to me. Just jump off here. No, wait, wait, wait what? Can you not be there? I thought you could be right. No, I swear to god, I didn't know. Like this is going awful because I'm trying to it's literally going bad because I'm playing it safe. And I, I, dude, where can you stand? I've never fallen down there. I, 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 I don't even know. This is just brand new to me. I have, ju I have just enough lives for Leela, but if I mess up once, it's over. I'm gonna run straight to it. All right, straight shot it is. From now on. At least I know for the future. I was literally like. That's what sucks is I was trying to play it safe Looks like it's and knowing that me now. playing it safe is what caused me to lose lives there because not knowing the boundaries because it's all black. Where am I? I I'm, I'm going to have to play it safe. I got one shot of this jump. Okay. Backup strat time, baby. It's make it or break it. I don't know how to do this route very well. I'm going to be real with you. It's, I have to do a backup now. I think I was supposed to hit a checkpoint. Oh no, there's a there's the checkpoint. Mega, mega oh well, here it goes. I think this is how this works. We have to open this door and then die to those. Reload at the checkpoint. Come on, baby. This has gone completely off the walls. I don't know the movement here. Do I have zero lives for Fry as well? Yep. It, it is YOLO Fry time. It's YOLO fry time. It, it's not even a hard section. It's just I don't do that. That's not that's not a strat I do. So it just instantly becomes like difficult. I'll just say this right now. Fry isn't free. It is free for the most part, but with these kind of nerves, it's going to be really difficult. A life up would be so sick, but that's a bit asking for much. I don't know if we can normally do something like that. Also, you know what's the worst part, guys? It's unlikely to happen. It's extremely unlikely to happen, but I could get bad RNG and just lose the run because of it. it it's possible. I don't know what the odds are. We'll worry about it when we get there, but there's a chance that this run just can't finish. All right, here, here we go, guys. The moment we've all been waiting for. Does easy choke the run? Oh wait, I might be choking the run right now. No, oh yeah, low key am. It's just a straight up coin flip now. It is just a coin flip. Uh oh, that's not a good start. That's bad. It's over. Oh my God. Fuck yes. Let's go baby. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was Oh my god, dude.
I was, I thought, no, I thought the run was dead. I legitimately thought it was over, that I had lost all of it. I am officially retired. <laughs> I'm, re I'm retiring. <laughs> it wasn't the fastest run, but there will not be a run more entertaining than that. You know what? That has to just be my PB. <laughs> God, I can finally move on from this game. All right. <sighs> and there it is. After that atrocity of a speedrun, I still managed to secure a sub hour time by several minutes without having a game over, putting me at a top five time on the leaderboards. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like and make sure you follow me over on Twitch because I do stream daily. Subscribe for more speedrunning related content. And as always, I hope you all have a beautiful life.